Good morning. Good morning! Welcome to the 115th Trek to Gobbler's Knob, and welcome to Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Where would you rather be, Gobbler's Knob or Times Square? Now, I'm going to be able to introduce here the inner circle and then we're going to introduce the officers and we're going to get Phil out we're going to explain how we're going to do this. But first, Phil will not come out. He will not come out if there's one non-believer. Are you all believers in Phil? Put your hands in the air. Repeat after me. All hail Groundhog Supremacy! All hail, All Groundhog, hail Groundhog Supremacy! supremacy. <laughs> now, right before we get Phil out, we do a little cheer for Phil. I think the boys have helped you out with that. It goes real simple. I think even you people can understand it. Understand it, even those have frozen. It's a nice slow chant. Phil, Phil, Phil. <laughs> Okay. Some of you may not know, but you're live around the world. Are you ready to be seen around the world? Okay, let me introduce some of the men in the inner circle who make this happen. Sitting in front of you with that beautiful rotund face, the one and only Bill's handler. You've seen him around the world, Mr. Bill Dealey. I'm about to introduce to you the most powerful man in the world, the man who knows Bill, Phil personally, the only man who speaks Groundhoggies. Please, a warm welcome for the most powerful president in the world, Mr. Bill Cooper.
of six more weeks of winter weather. We have had 13 predictions of an early spring. And one time that he failed to make a prediction during World War II so as not to aid and assist the enemy. For those of you in the crowd, the Las Vegas odds are nine to two. Let me explain briefly what's going to happen. This 100 year Acadia Wood cane represents the power of the presidency of this office. I will use this cane to knock on Phil's borough doors. Bill Neely, Phil's handler. We'll take Phil from his burrow and set him upon this oaken stump, at which time he will relay his prediction to me, and I will pass the word on to Rusty Johnson, who will proclaim the forecast. Okay, I have a question. Who wants six more weeks of winter weather? Who wants spring to be just around the corner? The bad news is he doesn't care what you think. Okay. I think it's time to get this going. I want to see what dinner May I have quiet, please?
Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. This Groundhog Day, February 2nd, the year 2001, Punxsutawney Phil, Seer of Sears, ruler of Marmona Monax, king of the Groundhogs, has been summoned by President, President Bill Cooper. He has emerged sleepily from his burrow here on Jobbers Hall, 7.25 a.m., to be greeted by his handler, Bill Dealey. Bill placed him atop the old maple stump, much to the delight of the large throng of faithful followers. <laughs> Phil, in his inimitable style, spoke to President Cooper in Groundhog Ease. Bill quickly translated and selected the appropriate scroll which read, Happy Groundhog Day, my friends. I know you hope winter soon ends. I'm very glad I don't count the Chad, but as a committee of one, I rely only on the sun. You know what the meaning of is is. Now I see my shadow, gee whiz. Six more weeks of winter there is. He's only the messenger. Hey, before everybody tries to run and catch the first bus, they can't fit you all in at one time. Take your time. Please be careful. There's lots of things to do.